hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. So today I'm going to talk about reacting versus responding, which is something I guess we're all aware of, but I think it's something we can always be working on and improving in ourselves. And it's something very relevant to everything in life, but really for our horses. You know, we can often react to things that happen with our horse and it's nothing to do with the horse, you know, it's stuff that's going on with us inside. So it's just really a practice of self-awareness to notice. Um, I love those books about the girl with the dragon tattoo and part of that she learned consequence assessment because she would just react to things and fly off the handle with violence. I don't know if you read the books, I thought she was really inspiring. But she had to learn to stop herself and assess the consequences. So if I kick off and react and do that, what's going to happen in return? So I think that's an interesting take on it as well. Um, it's something that, yeah, I'm constantly working on. And of course, there are moments when we kick off and react instead of responding. And I think we need to be aware of that, you know, and then treat ourselves with kindness. So it's not to go, oh God, I'm so useless and there I go, just flying off again and reacting and not noticing, not being aware. Uh, that's very typical behavior of me. So <laughs> it's to try and say, ah, it's good that I noticed that I did that. So the next time I can get better, you know, it's just to repeat it and to practice again and again and again with these things. You know, I think especially in situations that are challenging, especially if it's something violent, something that makes you angry, that winds you up. You know, it's one of the things I hope I've um, taught my girls. I think it's a very important rule of life. When something happens or someone does something or says something, especially when it's commenting on online on whatever platform that winds you up and pisses you off and makes you angry, you know, just step back and wait. You know, not to react on that moment. Just wait 24 hours. And in 24 hours, if you still feel that that needs a response, then you can give a, a measured, appropriate response to that situation. Um, and maybe, you know, I find often that when you leave it 24 hours, you think, eh, let it go. You know, that's that person's crap. It's not nothing to do with me. It's their thing. They're acting it out on me and I don't actually even need to respond to that. So sometimes that's quite a relief to just say, oh, drop it, and I'm glad I didn't reply to that yesterday. So um, yeah, these are things I'm constantly working on and I think it's very helpful. Um, the birds are very loud <laughs> this morning, so I hope you can hear me okay. Anyway, thank you for being with us and we'll see you next time.